welcome to this movie review of Captain Marvel. You guys, are you excited? Woo! Um, I, I, I'm super excited for this. I can't wait to see who Captain Marvel is and what her character is and what kind of hero she is. I'm super excited for the humor, the action, and see how it all ties up to Endgame coming out next month, guys. What about that? Woo! Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm super excited. Um, Nate, what do you think? Um, I am really excited. You covered a lot of stuff. I'm hoping for almost everything you said, and I'm hoping for... Why didn't tell the good stuff? I don't know why. <laughs> uh, like, I'm really excited. That's all you can say. Yep. Um, Brian, what do you got? You know, I'm excited uh, to see this, a new Marvel superhero, so... Uh, and the first superhero. Girl hero. Yeah, the future's female. Um, Girl power. And uh, Ben Mendelsohn in here. Got a Ben Mendelsohn fact. He's Australian, so you're going to want to watch out for that. Oh, fun fact. I'm excited. Awesome. Hey, what do you got, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, Brie Larson uh, in the leading lady role and expecting big things, so I'm excited. Awesome. And uh, Brock, what do you got, bro? I got no uh, no expectations. <laughs> I don't really know anything about Captain Marvel, so Same I'm here, but we're probably still excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're excited. Awesome. And Sam, buddy, um, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> uh, man, I'm ready for it. It's gonna be excited. I just want to know how Fury loses his eye. That's why I'm here. Ooh. That's that, 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 that's one of the I'm hoping for too, but you know, you want him to. Uh, no, 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 knowledge, for the knowledge mm -hmm. you know okay. <laughs> like, but I don't think it's going to happen anyways. And Sean, my brother, what, uh, wait, my dude brother. <laughs> uh, well, I'm looking for a lot tonight, uh, I'm excited to see Jude Law in a superhero movie, and as always, looking for a little love, action, and uh, comedy, but I'll also be bringing back the urban destruction meter <laughs> back, and uh, we're going to see how that does. I'm also going to give maybe the first ever preemptive rating. I'm predicting that this will be at least an 8.5 or better. Ooh. So we'll have to check in. After we'll hold you to that. I'm but we're excited, excited to be here with Seth. We're really excited to watch. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, we're heading into the theater. We'll, we'll, we'll see you all in a couple hours and remember to feel the Buffalo! As you can see, we're not all here, but I had to go. I had to go real fast, so I so I'm gonna get a quick view. I like the movie. It really, it really, hit, it really was good. It was I I, enjoyed, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and um and, 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 the, and the chair on top was had to be the mid credit scene. That was my favorite part of the movie, actually. But the rest of the movie is still real good. Like I I recommend it. So go see it. Bye. Thanks, Nate. Um, hey guys, we just came from Captain Marvel. What do you guys think? Woo! Um, I I love this movie. By the way, um, the this the story behind it was unique, and I, I I loved it. And especially how it was set back in, in Earth was set back in the nineteen nineties. That was just classic humor and nostalgia. It had Game Boy, Blockbuster Video, like saw the trailer, and Radio Shack. It's it's just amazing. Um, I I love I love the visuals. I love the the comedy, and I love I love, I love the action and emotion they have in this in, in this in this um in this movie. I loved how in the big scene it, it teases. It actually has a scene connected to an end game though, but that's all I can say for now. But um, could say, yeah, careful. All I can say though is that Nick Fury's Nick Fury's eye, oh, it's there. Trust me, it's there. You know, it, 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 it's hilarious. But guys, um, th guys, um, I love this movie. Um, I, I give it a solid nine, nine point five out of ten. Great, great, great film. There were still a couple of plots that didn't make sense to me, but it, but overall, great film. I recommend it. Um, Nate, what do you got? Uh, I thought it was good. I would say it's my favorite Marvel movie, but it's definitely not my least favorite. I put it right there in the middle. Um, I would give it um, an 8 out of 10. Mm. Awesome. Rock, what you got, buddy? Wasn't a fan. I uh, think like I'm typically pretty easy to please. Uh, Nick Fury in this, Samuel L. Jackson, was hilarious. There were definitely parts that got a laugh, but overall, I just was not feeling it. It was a little too corny. I didn't like it, to be honest. I didn't like it. Uh, I, I don't even know what I would rank it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it out. Yeah, give it a number. Oh, like, 
If five is like, <laughs> like I, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> Did it affect you from the, from the last review from Ralph Breaks the Internet? No, no. I think I went into it ready to like it, and I was really excited. Um, it was just like really corny. Oh. So, yeah, I just. So I mean, it's not for everyone. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. Yeah, it's cool. It's a little sexist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Sam, buddy, what you got, bro? Uh, I have to agree with Brock 100%. Yeah, I did not like it at all. Uh, I think it's might be the worst Marvel movie, in my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone to go see it unless you have to see Marvel movies, honestly. I thought it was really bad. I'd, I'd give it a scorch. It, and I, I do have higher expectations, I think, for Marvel movies, and that was probably part of it. I think without that, I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10. Yeah, they're all so good. Yeah. It, just was, it didn't meet my expectations at all. And Ryan, what you got, buddy? You know, I mean, coming off two scorching hot scores right there, uh, I think I think I saw it more like Nate. You know, I went in. I'm I'm not as tough as a Marvel critic. Uh, I just went in for a good time. I had a good time. There, I mean, it did have its uh, faults. Like some things just didn't really go together. But overall, I thought it was a good movie, and I needed that movie to know and anything about what's going to happen in this next Avengers Endgame. So, who? We went in with that. 8.5, and I'll I'll give it the 8.5. I'll oh, give it the 8.5. No, 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 no. That's a problem. Right He's trying to help us turn out. We're like three out of two regular reviews. Um, so what we're trying to think, let's trade off. <laughs> what you on, my main man? What have you got, bro? I like the movie. Uh, you're, you're looking at a guy who's pleased by the DC movie, so pretty much anything's going to go for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, and 3 out of 10 on the urban uh, destruction meter, so not a lot, but there was a little at the beginning. I thought Jude Law did a good job in an action movie, certainly not uh, in his normal wheelhouse, but he did well, and I thought Brie Larson was a, a, a really good leading lady, so overall I was entertained. Like the guy said, there are definitely some plot, some plot holes, and they needed to move it along pretty quickly, but... Um, Overall, I was uh, entertained as a very, very standard moviegoer. So, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Awesome. So, guys, um, thank you so much for joining us here on Captain Marvel Review. Um, th there you have it. Um, for the guys, we have, we have mostly, like, mostly positive and two negatives. But, <laughs> but agree to screen. That's all, that's all it takes. Um, right. So, guys, um, so, so next review will be Dumbo, which, will probably, which is a live-action Disney film. Um, it'll, it'll come out like in March, though, so hopefully it'll be... So hopefully it'll be either Stellar Brothers or, or, group, or a small group of guys, but then we'll have a group of guys for Shazam over here coming up in April 5th. Shazam! And then at the end of April, we're back in the IMAX, which we're filming right, close by right here right now. Um, we're going to go see Avengers Endgame. Woo! And guys, um, before, I, before I sign off, the, it paid, it, uh, the opening, opening logo paid a wonderful tribute to Stanley. How about that, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So guys, um, We'll see y'all later. Remember, we're feeling marvelous. See you guys. Well, guys, um, there you have it. That's our review for our Captain Marvel. Stick around by the end of the month, guys, as we, re as we review um, Dumbo. I'm not sure if that'll be a Stumbo. <laughs> That's a blooper reel. That's a blooper reel. <laughs>